Would you like to see John Backer's favorite bolt tested in granite in the middle of nowhere? So do we. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx and welcome to the middle of nowhere where we are busting some bolts. And Greg Barnes from the ASCA gave us some bolts some of which are, he says, John Backer's favorite bolts. These are taper bolts where they taper at the end. So instead of there being a wedge that gets fatter and a sleeve above it that it gets sucked into, it has a flimsy feeling lead threaded thing and a, you can see here, a tapered threaded end. Here you can see a retaining clip that holds these two independent sides together. Looks bomber. So we're gonna stick a 25 kilonewton hanger on here and a Metolius hanger and another random hanger since we don't think the hangers are gonna break. Let's pull these in tension and then we'll pull them in shear because that's the way the bolt buster set up right now. Hi, I'm Bobby and I'm gonna install <laughs> these taper bolts. Stop giggling, Ryan. <laughs> you sound so funny. What size hole is that, Bobby? So this is a 3 8 hole that we have cleaned. I think I want to be gentle here um, to not totally screw up the lead as I get it into the hole. It's going in pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> Could not have timed that better. <laughs> does that um instill confidence? It does not. We'll see if it'll tighten down. I think it might not. While Bobby's doing that, let me show you what we got here. Mike, for one. <laughs> <laughs> we have our whoopee sling. Whoop. And those all bags keep the whoopee from flying. And then we have Mike's shirt protecting our scientific equipment pulled by our hydraulic, which goes to our DC pump powered by our DC battery, charged by our AC converting generating pump held together buy some titan screws over here so we can test things <laughs> how's it going bobby uh so i'm noticing that i'm not really hitting tight it, like they just keep turning and they're not getting any tighter like i mean i would say that's less than 10 foot pounds that i'm putting on there i don't know it seems like hand pounds i'm going to stop because i'm worried about uh totally stripping these bolts out all right, well, let's see if the next hole engages better. The great thing about these bolts, if they're already installed, they're very easy to remove. You just unscrew them and then drill through the lead cone at the bottom and you can reuse the hole. Well, that's fantastic. When you're installing bolts to always find something that's easy to replace, because that's the only thing that matters. How'd that second one go in? Uh, same deal. I wasn't hitting tight with it. It just kept spinning. Stop. Stop. Finish us off, Bobby. So it pulled out and it started to pull out at 2.3. What was our final number? 9.7. Would you whip? No, would not whip. All right, sliding out, stop. What's the number? 3.6. Okay. So that came out and did not fly very far. Is that the sleeve or is the sleeve still in the rock? The sleeve's right here. Um, oh. You can see it really doesn't have any more room to tighten there. John Backer's bolts are the weakest bolts we've tested. So I had the thought that we might have people saying we did not tighten it enough on these. So I'm going to tighten the last one until it does not tighten anymore. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, I think it's going to strip and just it might just not work at all. Or yeah, strip and the whole thing comes out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that 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 does wow. reach, read it, reach it tight. I 
Nope, it's still going. <laughs> How do we know what the trolls are gonna say, Bobby? <sighs> We've been here before. Is it getting tight? Not really. Like, I mean, it's tighter than it was before, but like, I'm putting less than 15 foot pounds of torque on this. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, let's, let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, oh, stop. What's the dyno say? 4.8. 4.8, go. <laughs> it like oozes out. <laughs> Nothing impressive. <laughs> oh. Bobby, you'll find this interesting. So some of the lead sleevey thing just, I don't know where it is. We still got some of that retaining clip. Well, we did not get a very impressive number. These are the safest, officially, the safest bolts to bust because they just fall out and they don't come flying and hitting anything. So you wouldn't whip in tension. What do you think is going to happen in shear? I think they're probably going to come out a little bit stronger because this bolt has to bend before they can start coming out. All right, let's test shear. Okay. not that great of a steel. What'd you find, Bobby? Uh, so here is one one of the lead plates. Yeah. And the other lead plate. Um, see if you can crush that in your fingers. Because it's soft lead? Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah, that's, that's harder than I can deal with. Okay, let's pull the next one. Stop, go. Stop. 361 came out the same way and at safe enough forces but not enough to get me excited it's a lot better than yeah than the last one all right it came out again that's not that impressive we've got 45 on 3 8 bolts before so they are a wee bit stronger in shear. Uh, I definitely wouldn't want to be using these in tension. You're never really going to get to 22 kilonewtons when you're climbing, but they're also zinc plated. So over time they're going to rust and who knows what's going to happen. These are technically the weakest bolts we've tested, at least in tension. Uh, thank you, Greg Barnes from the ASCA for donating them. And I appreciate John Backer putting in bolts that are easy to replace. Now, they were as strong as he needed them to be because he technically wasn't clipping them or anything when he was climbing. If you want to learn a lot about bolts, more than you ever wanted to know, go to the Bolting Bible at slackline.com.